Abu Bakr, the best of all of the companions, the best of all of the people after the prophets and messengers. Then Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu thereafter. So their virtues are great. Their status and their rank is great. And maybe you've heard recently what occurred from the misguided individuals. Yasir Qadi recently said that if Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu was given a test about the categories of Tawheed, if he was asked about Aqsam al-Tawheed wa nawaqid al-wudu and these things, he said Umar ibn al-Khattab would fail. This is Yasir Qadi's words. Because he is a misguided individual, a misguided individual who does not take from the scholars, so he thinks up things from himself, from his own mind. These are the types of statements that he makes. That if you gave Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu a test on these issues, he wouldn't know the answers. He even said something about ثم استوى على العرش. If you ask Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu about this, he wouldn't be able to explain. Something along these lines too. These are the types of deviancies from these people. And who promotes them? Who or is it something that would occur to your mind at all? To speak about Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu in this way, to give this example. He was trying to make some points, but this is the ridiculous example that he gave. That if Umar ibn al-Khattab was given the test, he would fail. In that narration, it mentions if the knowledge of the ummah was put on one side of the weighing scale and the knowledge of Umar radiallahu anhu was put on the other side of the weighing scale, the knowledge of Umar would be greater. And Qadi comes along and says that he would fail the test. This is the deviance of al-Maghrib. Yasir Qadi and al-Maghrib. But who promotes them? The same people who say they are Salafi. They want to tell everybody they are Salafi. And they say, we have scholars, mashayikh coming to us. They gave us tazkiyah. A Sheikh Fulan or Sheikh Fulan. They gave us tazkiyah, tazkiyah, we are Salafi. And the same people they promote, Yasir Qadi, Green Lane Mosque. They were the ones on their Facebook telling everybody, go to Yasir Qadi's lecture. They said, we advise everyone, we encourage everyone. It's on their Facebook, you can go see yourself. They say, we advise and encourage everyone to go to this lecture, Yasir Qadi. These are the people they promote. This is their reality. So now if somebody comes and says to you, but Green Lane, some scholars go there, and the scholars, they gave them tazkiyah. Say, okay, scholars, if they gave them tazkiyah, did the scholars give tazkiyah to say, Umar ibn al-Khattab will fail the test if you ask him? Did the scholars give tazkiyah to go and sit with Yasir Qadi and al-Maghrib Institute? The scholars did not give tazkiyah for this. So do not be fooled and confused. GLM, they pretend to be Salafi and with the scholars. When the scholars, they come. Then when the scholars go, the scholars are back on the plane and they're going home. Then who do GLM start promoting? Al-Maghrib and Yasir Qadi and all these people again. Then once in the year, the mashaykh come, then they say Salafi, Salafi again. GLM say we're Salafi, Salafi. As soon as they're gone, then Yasir Qadi, Al-Maghrib, everybody again. On their Facebook to all of the people they said, we encourage you to go to the lecture. Yasir Qadi. Yasir Qadi says about himself. Not, this, not us, not everybody. Yasir Qadi himself said what? He said he is not. He said the Salafiyya. It is not intellectually challenging or something along those words. It is not intellectually good enough for him. He said when I was younger... I was in the Salafi movement, but now it's not intellectually good for me, etc., etc., all this nonsense. Himself, he declares himself not to be Salafi like this. But he tries to get clever. He says, no, I mean something else, and I mean the Salafi movement of these days, and I don't mean the Salaf of the past. He is not with the Salaf of the past, nor the Salafis of our time. Well, both of them are the same. The Salafis of our time are following the Salaf of the past. That's why they are Salafi, as Sheikh Bin Ba said. The ones who are truthful. So these people, their misguidance is clear. There is no doubt about it. Nobody is going to try to argue that Al-Maghrib is a Salafi institute. Nobody is going to try to argue that. But who does? Green Lane? Green Lane still promote them. So now you have to ask why? 
Why does this organization tell you they are Salafi, 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 and they're sending you to someone who will tell you that Umar ibn Khattab عنه, will fail the Aqidah test? He will fail the Nawaqid al Wudu. Afterwards, Yasir Qadi himself said that I shouldn't have made those words. I shouldn't have said Umar ibn Khattab will fail. He accepted that this was wrong. But did he make a tawbah? Did he make repentance? Nothing. Just uh, maybe the words that I said were not quite right. This is the way of their misguidance. Al Maghrib, they are completely away from the, uh, the methodology of the scholars, the methodology of the Salaf. But it is Green Lane in this country who still promotes them. You don't see any of the Salafis promoting them. You don't see any of the Salafis promoting Kamal Makki flying up in the air, YouTube videos, telling you he can do all of the magic that the magicians can do. Green Lane promotes all of these people. They promote them. That's not me telling you. Look at their Facebook, look at all of their accounts. They promote them on their pictures. Advise you, we encourage you, go to them. This is the reality of Green Lane. So if they try to pretend now, but the scholars gave us Tazkiyah. Did the scholars give you Tazkiyah that magic is halal? Did the scholars give you Tazkiyah Yasir Qadi is okay? Did the scholars give you Tazkiyah Al Maghrib Institute is okay? Nothing, nothing. So this is not something to fool the people now. Do not be fooled that they say once a year we bring the scholars via Salafi. For the rest of the year when the scholars are gone, now it's all Al Maghrib, Yasir Qadi, Al Kawthar, everybody else. So their deviance is clear. And it does not require a great deal to realize that.